there was a pastor who was called to the home of one of his members. And when he got there, she said, Pastor, uh, I've been diagnosed with a terminal illness and I'm not going to last long. And I want to plan my funeral. And she said, I know a lot of people would think this is morbid, but it's not. I don't want to take this burden from my family and make it easy on them. So I have it all figured out. And she went through the service, the songs, and what scripture she wanted. And she said, I have one other thing. And pastor, it's kind of an unusual request. And he was thinking to himself, oh, yeah, everybody thinks they have an unusual request. And then she said, when they put me in the casket, I want them to put a fork in my hand. Not flowers, but a fork. <laughs> and I want that fork to be in my hands. And so when people come around, they're going to look and they're going to say, what on earth is she lost? her mind as well as her life. <laughs> and then the pastor, when you do my message, I want you to explain why I have a fork in my hand. And he was, of course, by this time bewildered. He said, well, you'll have to explain it to me. <laughs> she said, you know when we have those church potluck suppers and everybody brings so much food and there's pot roast and fried chicken and potatoes and we eat and we just keep eating and we just think we can't have another. And then everybody's reared back and the ladies come and they pick up our plate. But here's there's something they'll always say when they pick up our plate. Keep your fork. <laughs> Keep your fork. Now, everybody who's ever been to a church potluck knows what this means. <laughs> Keep your fork means it ain't over. <laughs> you stuffed yourself with all these dishes. But keep your fork because the best yeah. is yet to come. Desserts on its That's way. Pretty cute. There's chocolate cake. There's, there's <laughs> lemon meringue pie. Folks, you thought it was over. You thought it couldn't get any better. But the best is yet to come. Keep your fork. She said, Pastor, you tell them. Keep your fork. Because the best Amen. is yet to come. Awesome.